Hey guys, and welcome back to Haunting Grounds. Let's continue, shall we? Uh, so, looks like Chad has stopped following us for now. Let's have a little look around, shall we? So, we've got another door at the end. Where does this lead? Hmm. Uh, oh, was that a door? Kind of a door. Where are we now? Right. Uh, before we do this, let's go back and check that last door. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Right, okay, so this links us back up to the other side. Oh. Okay. Right, okay, so that links us up to the other side, so we've now come full circle. But before we start worrying about that, let's go back into that darkened room and see where that door goes. If I can remember exactly where that darkened room was. And apparently we're going... Huh? What's this? Oh, Look at that little gribbly bastard there. Get the fuck off me. That's right. Um, okay, so that just leads us... Yeah, I think we need to get into that circular room. Whatever that is. Yeah, those things are weird, man. They're like little aborted fetuses or something. Not pleasant to look at, to be honest. But that's okay. That's why we kick them in the face. Right. So, what's through here, then? Ooh. Okay. Well, this looks like nightmare fuel. We have a demonic pit. I wonder if there used to be something inserted here before. There is this small piece of broken branch here. Broken branch? Huey? Have you picked up the scent, boy? Okay. So Huey's picked up the scent. It's not a little hole that we can get into. Right. Okay. Huey? Go, boy. Go, go. Where is this thing? Okay, I thought Huey picked up the scent. Is that not what we need? Uh, and my phone is going off. One second. Right, and we're back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. N uh, neighbor had a parcel delivered and they delivered it to his doorstep in full view of everybody so uh, I went and grabbed it for him right um there was something ah right can you sniff it out for me Go, right come on Huey is it really in this room I mean there are buttons here do we like have to pick up the piece and show that to him? Or do we just have to like leave this area now? Huey? Go, Huey. Okay. Well, not really sure how that works. Maybe now we just, maybe he's gonna um, sound off when we're near. Maybe that's how that works. Uh, is it this door down here maybe? Yeah, not really sure what's in that weird torture room type thing. Huey. Go, Huey. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. Is there anything weird here? There is. Watch much. 
What are you barking at? Kiwi is barking. Is he trying to tell me something about this wall? Ah, maybe. Looks like there's a big crack on it. What the hell is that? Well, that's different. And Huey could smell that. It doesn't look like it's made of wood. This cane. I don't know how or what. Oh, shit. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Bad uncle is on his way. Ooh! Oh, of course he's coming from that direction. Huey, kill him. Kill him! Don't you fucking touch my dog like that. You... Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe we're just going to run away. Because this guy is rather difficult to fight. Whoa! Jesus. Okay. Let's just get the fuck away from him. Because otherwise, he's just going to be lighting fireballs up our asshole, Which isn't really an enjoyable experience. Well, I assume, anyway. I guess we shouldn't, we shouldn't say these things as facts. Alright, he's gone. Kind of gone. I can still hear him. I found you. How have you found me? God damn it. Ah, what do you mean? You can't even... If I went back there, I would get lost. Oh, really? Okay, so we're going to have to hide in the corner, maybe. That's pretty rough, the way he'll just literally pick Huey up and punch him. What a thing to do to a dog, man. Huey should tear his gizzard out. Does he have a gizzard? I'm not even convinced he's human. Well, actually, wait, no, he has said he's human, hasn't he? That's why he wants Yazoth, so he can live forever I've or something. What do you mean you found me? I found you. Oh, I wonder if he can see through the earrings. Damn it, he's attacking my dog. Alright, let's go. You are a fucking dickhead, and I would love to punch you in the anus, but apparently I can't. Because Fiona doesn't exactly have full control over her body. It's uh, <laughs> it's still extraordinarily difficult to actually like aim your kicks, which is frustrating. Okay. Now let's go back to this room. Can we like hide here in the dark? And unfortunately, <laughs> Huey is a bit of a um, giveaway because obviously he's never that far away from Fiona. <laughs> this guy definitely is a little bit harder to get rid of. That's for sure. Are you sure you found me? I don't know whether he's just saying he's found us. Whether that's part of his dialogue. I think he's walking off. Right, so when he says, I found you, he's literally just talking out of his arsehole. Which is fine. <sighs> That was uh, intense, to say the least. Right. Let's go back through here. So we need to put a thing in a thing. So a thing happens. Right. Okay, we can handle that. So I guess it belongs to us because our birthmark kind of appeared. 
But then this whole castle belongs to us, apparently. Careful how far you step back, Fiona. There is a big pit in the middle of the room. Just saying. for naught. <laughs> How long do you plan to keep this up? Let's finish this, Fiona. Hmm. Um, okay, well, but what... What's... Oh, shit, he's running. He's running! Ooh, Jesus. Right, stand on the thing. And what does that... Ooh. Okay, that just... What does that do? So that's... Oof! That spins a fan. Which... Right. So that spins a fan, and I'm guessing we need to blast him into the... Get him, Huey! Get him! No, 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 no! Huey! Get him! Get him! Huey! Get him! Get him! Damn it! Right, I'm guessing. I guess I wasn't quite enough. So, what is that though? Uh oh. Uh oh. Right, let's start spinning the majig. Right, uh, can you only spin one of them at a time? Oh, I wonder if we can get a death animation of us going into the. of us going in. That's curious. Uh, maybe? Maybe we can, but maybe we need to be right on the edge. It's over. Nothing is over. Not until I say it's over. I guess we can't? Right, so Huey. You fucking dick. Huey, grab him. Damn, we have to wait quite a long time. For the fans to start spinning, spinning again. Damn it, Huey is injured. Uh, right, can I quickly feed him up? I don't know if we can do this in quote unquote combat. We can. Interesting. Very interesting. And we have invincibility frames when we do that. What are these? Oh, God, I'm glad that happened. Right, I don't know. Right, Huey, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here. Right, get him. Shit. We might have to spend some of our... Some of our points as well. Not the manga esque. What, what was that one? Stamina... Slowly reduces panic. I mean, sure. We'll have that. Right. Yes, yes. Out the way, out the way, out the way. Out the way. Is that working? Right, I don't know. That actually knocks him back, which is curious. Right, wait for the fans to start spinning again. Keeps kick, keep kicking, keep kicking, keep kicking, keep kicking. That's it. Can we knock can we knock him back? Or do we actually have to like possibly Hang on. Right, there we go. There we go. Come on. That's it. All right, I have no idea then. I have no idea. Let's Let's try something else. Uh, weeping stone. Don't know what those are. Right. That's what we can leave on the floor. Correct? And it will explode. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. No, that does hit him. Good to know. That does actually hit him. Ooh, that also hits him. Maybe we need to get him so he collapses there. 
Is that a thing that we even can do? Hmm. Let's use another lavender because we're getting a little bit loopy here. I don't know what those th these things are on the floor. What's that about? We don't appear to be able to do anything with them. Ouch. Ouch. Come on, dickbag. There you go. I'm not sure. Can we hurt him? Like, what if we kick him several times? Can we literally kick him into the pit ourselves? I'm going to assume that we probably can't. Oh. We can just kick him to death, apparently. Get fucked, Chad. I'd like to see you come back from that. I now know why you cry. Yeah, get fucked. That was interesting. I had no idea that we could actually just kick him to death. Kind of wish I'd known about that. I thought we were going to have to get the fans to blow him into the lava, but I guess... I guess not. Also, this silver disc and this bronze figurine here, I still have no idea what that's about. Alright, stamina. Completely restores stamina. Reduces panic. I guess we'll take one of those. Uh, now, Huey. Who's a good boy, Huey? Who's a good boy? Good boy. There we go. Right. So. Now. Um. What's Carbo? Don't know. Let's give him a beef jerky. Because we've given him some yummy alchemical things. Let's give him some actual meat to enjoy. I'm sure he would rather that anyway. So, let's get out of here. So, that door is now opened. I can't remember where that door was, to be honest. Um, let's save it. This place looks like it's coming apart at the seams. Which is less than fantastic. Whoa! And my Wi-Fi antenna for my PC has just fallen off the door. Off the wall, I should say. No way. Nope. No way. <gasps> what was that? It felt like a tremor. I should crouch down during large tremors so I don't get hurt. Oh. Oh, you're kidding. Come on. Like, is this guy immortal? Seriously? Oh dear. Here he comes. He's actually running after us. Somehow. Damn it. Oh, you. What the hell is that about? What the hell is that about? This is. He's having a bad time. And I don't really want Huey. <laughs> I don't want Huey to go after him. Um, because. Oh, shit. Now, I need to remember how, how we crouch. That's kick. Come on, Fiona. Stop messing around. As off. You will not be getting your hands on my as off. Right. I can't remember how the hell we crouch. Because we haven't really had to use it at all. Oh. Well, I mean, we've got those. Um, can we kick the door open? All right, this is really obnoxious. Okay, I guess we can kick the door open. Okay, I'm not sure what exactly happened there. He's eating us. I think if we get too close to him, we just burn up. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Right, so let's just load the game. Now, how do we crouch? That would probably be a really good thing to learn. Um, okay. So it's left bumper. Got ya. Right, skip the scene. And I guess we've got to kick this door open. I think. Damn it. Oh my god, that's irritating. That better not be for the rest of the game now. Ah. Uh. Fuck my life. Okay, so this isn't working apparently. Um, come on, get away. No. So if we even just touch him, we die. Or actually, to be fair, he doesn't even touch us there. Uh, uh, do we have to survive the tremors for like X amount of time? Is that it? Uh, well, there's no mention of that though. So, ooh, this one's going to be a interesting cookie. Um, uh, yeah, we're just going to have to be really good, right? Okay, maybe we can just leave those explosives behind us as well right so let's just put one of those there one of those there oh come on one of them there I don't know if he's that good at walking into them to be honest but one there as well trouble is we've kind of backed ourselves into the corner here right doesn't appear how do right it doesn't actually appear that we can stop him with those explosions which is unfortunate that's fine let's go back into the weird room of death and see if there's anything we can do here oh I wonder can we like Use the fan on him or something? Uh, right down. I have no idea. No idea, but I know he's gaining ground, which is not what we want. Come on. Come on, Fiona. Come on, Fiona. Get out of there. Come on. Come on. Stop fucking around. Right. This is literally going poorly. There has to be something. Right. Can we pull him over here? Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Run. Run. Run, Fiona. Run. Keep running. So, it doesn't really seem... Guarding ourselves against these rather obnoxious tremors is doing an awful lot. So, that leads me to think there's something else we have to do. Which is not fantastic because we don't really have any equipment or any toys to play with. Oh, come on. We avoided that, you bastard. Ow. This is not going to go well. Uh, run. What about this? Can we, I guess... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So, come on. Get out of the way. Oh, shit. Huey. Huey's not helping. <sighs> hmm. 
So what... What do we do here then? Well, this is an extremely obnoxious part of the game, isn't it? Right, let's drop a load and I'm going to do some experiments. Okay, it actually wasn't that cryptic. Um, you have to get Huey to open the door. <laughs> this took a couple of attempts of me running around. I thought maybe if we ran around and waited for X amount of time, the... Uh, Either he would, I don't know, like burn out or maybe something would happen from all of these quakes. But no, no sir. No dice. Right, so we've got to wait these out. And you have to examine the door. And then... Huey, go. Huey, go. Come on, dude. There we go. Alright, cool. Not exactly graceful, but it worked. <laughs> Alright. So, now, I guess we just need to get out of here. Back to that door. Which... Speaking of which, where was that door? Oh, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Right. Luckily, we've got a nice amount of distance. Oh, hello. Uh, Fiona. Oh. Um. Do I have to do something here? Um. Okay. I guess we just mashed the buttons there. Well, that was kind of AIDS. Run! Yep, cool. Azoth is good. And all the rest of it, dude. Right, let's run. <laughs> okay, I guess don't go that way. Don't go that way. Oof. Now what? I hope that hurts. Uh, this is... Oh! Actually burning to death. I did not think that was going to happen. Oh! Just burn. He took a very long time to die. Uh, well, I guess we've got a safe spot here, so we might as well use it. Oh, uh, I guess not. All right, well, let's go. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Cool stuff. Let's go then. Like, I have to get out of here now, and then you lose control of her while she looks around. This time, you really are dead, you bastard. Yes, hopefully. Uh, what does that say? You feel a mystical power throwing throughout the door. Open the door. Yes. Thanks, Huey.
Huey. Well, that was a interesting ending. So, throwing him into the fire pit actually does kill him. It just takes a while for him to just, you know, burn to death. <laughs> I was wondering if there's going to be like a third phase to him or something. Um, and that's kind of cool. The way that uh, Diabetes just nods to us and carries on with his work. An interesting little snippet there, actually, if you will. Kind of a... I guess that's like an easter egg throwback to um, the actual game where this came from, the series it came from, Clock Tower, coming out of there with a big pair of shears in his hands. So from what I can understand, that was the best ending. That was like the, the actual best, I guess, canon ending. Um, there's another, I think there's another three endings to this game, two of which from what I understand, or at least one of which, um, is exactly the same, except for you don't see uh, Diabetes there with his shears, because you can kill him another way, and he's dead. So if you defeat him properly with weapons and kicking him and using Huey, without dropping the chandelier on him, he dies, and then he's not there at the end. Um, there's another ending that you can only get if you've already completed the game once. Uh, and that is when you get given the key from Diabetes after you've killed him with the quote chandelier. Uh, he actually... Wait a minute. No, you don't kill him with the chandelier. You, yeah, you defeat him with the chandelier and you, he gives you the key, which you use in the bathroom. And you can go to the secret little uh, underground -y bit where we found some items before. If you do that, once you've already completed the game, there is the key to the, car, uh, the castle gate down there. And you can actually leave early. Uh, so that is another one of the endings. So you can leave without having to kill the maid and all the rest of it. Which is quite interesting. Uh, the other ending is... If you're really bad with Huey and you have a really poor relationship with him. I believe that's how you get that ending. Um, you can beat him around and kick him and feed him onions and shout at him. Uh, and then you actually get captured. And the last scene is Fiona heavily pregnant with... I think it's Ricardo's kid, which is rather rough. Uh, I'm going to try and find the other endings anyway and tack them onto the end of this. Um Thanks, Huey.
Light up, boy. Thanks, Huey. Ah, you're up. <gasps> Fiona, I've decided you shall give birth to me. Don't worry, I do not intend to kill you. If you would just lend me your womb. I shall be born again, this time with your Azoth. But man, what a game! I really enjoyed it, actually. Um, it wasn't that difficult, considering. 
all things considering. It's one of those games that started off really difficult, um, but got massively easier as the game went on when you started getting new items. And to be honest, it's not even the items really that that helped out. It was um, to beat us when you first encounter him. He's really strong. He's really tough and you're getting to grips with the games, you don't really know the mechanics, and you've got Huey, but Huey doesn't really listen to you because it's early on in the game. Now, by the time you get to the maid, you're starting to get some more items, you're, you've got a lot um, more area to go run away and hide, and she's not that quick, she's way easier to lose. Uh, and then who do we have? Then we had Ricardo was probably the hardest guy because he was a one-shot kill, but he very rarely actually managed to hit me. Sorry about that, I just got completely put off point by that amazing music. That was great. Um, yeah, so... And then you had the crawling old version of Lorenzo, which was just a joke. Uh, oh! So we got ending A, which is the best. Our time kind of sucked. We only got 64% of the items, really. Oh, I guess because we weren't getting Huey to sniff around that much. So Huey got zero critical injuries, which is good. We defeated 22 enemies, and we got Top Breeder. Uh, now, from what I can understand, Top Breeder means that you took the best possible care of the dog. Which I'm not that surprised about, to be honest. Dog level A. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing that's the best. Because the game rates you at how you played, and there's a number of different types you can get. Um, from, you know, if you're bad with your dog, if you panic too much, if you take too long. Um, there's about ten different things you can get, I believe. But yeah, this is bizarre. It's secret room has been added to the title menu. Hard mode has been added to the title memory, uh, menu. You can now change costumes in game. Search any chest mid game to switch to an available alternate costume. Stamp on a plate key. Alchemia. Oh, 